Hey guys, so I had the idea earlier today after I was working on my tablecloth made out of grandma's doilies to take some of my spare odd balls of yarn left over from other projects, mostly scarves and things like that, um, and put them on sort of a large card or spool. Now if you're a, a needlework artist or an, no, do embroidery, you know you get those little plastic bobbins or spools that you can wind your floss on, especially when you have just a little part of a little skein of floss left over, and that's what you store it on. Well I thought why couldn't I take some chipboard and create some big ones and put them on a split ring just like you would with a small card or bobbin of embroidery floss only with some of my yarns so that I had them out and available when I wanted to add a little piece of, of yarn to a mixed media project or maybe put it on a tag or use it to bind a letter journal so I and I t was really looking for some autumn colors I didn't think I had them I thought oh I you know really shouldn't buy any yarn <laughs> shouldn't really be on my no-no list because despite a purge that I did earlier this year I still have a lot of yarn so to my surprise I actually had quite a few colors I, there's still a couple colors that I don't have in my stash of yarn that I would like to have on these spools like black maybe some purple some greens I don't have those I'm not going to go out and buy a bunch of yarn but if I see something on clearance I'll definitely pick it up to add to my collection but what I did was I have Snap-on, I think it's called Snap-on, brand little photo albums I use for storing my unmounted rubber, unmounted stamps, my cling stamps. And when I buy the binders, they come, they're meant for like a project life type of album. I don't use them for that. I insert Tim Holtz cling mount stamp pages in them. I repunch the holes. They fit in the binders great. The binders fit on my shelf shelf which is right above the camera really well I can label the spine I know exactly what's in them blah 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 <laughs> I'll pull one down for you in a minute and show you what I mean for stamp storage anyway when I buy the binders they come with all kinds of guts that I take out well I save it and I have now a whole bunch of these page protector things and one of the things they come with I'll show you Oh, if I can get them out, I'll just see if I can get one out of my closet, which I should have done this before I turned the camera on. Okay, they come with, each binder comes with four of these chipboard tabbed pages. I have a whole bunch of these now because I've got a whole bunch of these binders. I don't throw them away because I figured I can use them for a bookbinding project or something at some point. They're just chipboard. They're good chipboard. Well, I took a few of them and I cut them in half. They already have a hole in the top. Cut in half, it's a very nice card spool shape. I loved it. And I have some extras, so when I want to add extra fibers to the uh, the cards, to these rings, I can do that. And then I just wound the yarn on and I taped it down. And so I tried to do them in color families. Like this is like oceany, beachy family, like blues, some white. This is actually leftover yarn from making Miss Claudia Rossi's grandbaby's blanket. Then we have our silvers and grays, our sort of mauves and pinks and some earth tones, a little bit of earth tones. This yarn here you actually can't tell, but there's it's a multicolored yarn, so it's got some brown on it. Got our primaries, mostly reds and blues, but our primaries. And then pinks and brights. So I, I loved it. I had enough yarn bits, though, to make two of them. <laughs> So, I don't exactly know what I'm going to do with two of them. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with two of them. I think I'm going to give one away. I don't know. I might give it in Happy Mail. But they're cute. It's a good idea. So, and then I have, as you guys know, I've said before, wire uh, shelving up above where the camera's sitting. And so I put an S-hook in one corner and I can hang this from my S, S hook that's there and it's readily available and handy 
and hanging up there right now and it works great and it's right where I can reach it when I need it which you know because if things are put away then I forget that I have them and I forget to use them which is I'm sure a problem that we all have so I'm trying to you know as time goes on rearrange my studio so things are more accessible and readily available I'm going to show you really quick what I'm talking about for my rubber stamp storage Here's one of my binders, so right above the camera. I think that this particular one with the solid colored spine, this might be one that is this being discontinued. I don't know. I'm these. Uh, I have them in a few different colors, but I like the solid colored spine. I have one that has a chevron design on the spine, and that one I use for my alphabet stamps. Um, I have them categorized by either brand or type. Um, I have some generic stamps, like this is just word stamps, that are from a bunch of different people, but I don't have enough from any one person to warrant making a binder for just them. So then I have these Tim Holtz. These are Tim Holtz um, cling stamp storage sheets. They're meant for his binders that he has, which has a zipper on it. I didn't want to be fussing with the zipper. I didn't like the way it was going to look in my studio, So, but I like the sheets. It has a pocket, plus the plastic is the type that you can actually cling stamps to on the outside if you want. And I love that. And I can store quite a few, I even have, see room, quite a few stamps in here. So I've got all my stamps like that. And they're right up here above my shelf where I can get to them easily when I want to use them in a project. They're not in a closet in a box where I have to dig things out, which is, just does not work for me. So now I have to figure out what I'm going to do with this extra one. All right, I hope that gave you some ideas, just a quick storage idea, a quick solution, I hope, for me at least. I hope it does something for you. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself. You deserve it. I'll see you later.